Hey everyone, my name is Carson Reed with Cinema Motions, and I'm gonna walk you all through using Rococo video and actually putting it onto your 3D characters. Let's jump into it. First and foremost, what is Rococo video? It's an online AI machine learning kind of algorithm thing. Um, and basically what it does is it allows you to feed video input data and it'll output usable motion capture. It's really cool. All you need to do is head over to rococovideo.com and go ahead and make an account. Here's some notes for whenever you're using Rococo video. Now, the AI has a bit of a hard time picking up data in deep, dark, saturated environments. So make sure that you're in a well-lit environment wearing brighter clothing. Now, I typically don't like to go outside. That's just how we roll. But trust me, the results are worth it. Another thing is making sure that your camera is locked off as much as possible. You can move it around and you can get some okay results. There have been some use cases where it looks pretty good. But for the most part, lock it off on a tripod, set it up against a tree, go outside and hit record. Apply some of the footage that you've got, just hit upload. Um, from there, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have Rococo Studio downloaded and make sure that you log in with the same credentials and everything. That way your character will automatically pop up into a brand new project that you've already named. Now, once you're inside of Rococo Studio, you can go ahead and export into an FBX, a BVH, whatever other options that they have. Um, typically for me, my workflow, I use BVH. The reason I'm using BVH is because in Blender on the import settings, you can actually tick a little thing that says match scene FPS. Now what this allows you to do is to set your frame scenes like, you know, in your little settings area, set it to 24 FPS or 2398, whatever you want, hit import on the BVH. And it'll automatically rescale. So that way you're not having to worry about scaling down hundred FPS or 120 or 200 on these new suits. Thank you, Rococo. Anyways, jumping ahead into Blender, you're gonna make sure that your character already has a rig. Now, I use AutoRig Pro, and if you want more information on that, there's a tutorial probably on this side. Um, it's 20 minutes, it's still pretty relevant. Uh, I have updated the software and all the add-ons that you'll need, but I use AutoRig Pro, I already have everything set up. Now, once you're inside of Blender and you have your character already rigged, go ahead and import the BVH. From there, you're gonna hit Remap, select your source and your target armature, build the bone list. Now, if you're using the Rococo BVH, there's a few different options. You've got Newton IK, Human IK, Unreal Engine. Uh, in the new studio, I typically use the Unreal Engine preset. It just works a lot better for me. And again, I will include all of the things that you will ever possibly need down in the description below. I've made a Google Drive. You can go ahead and grab it, pin it. I'll update it pretty consistently. Now, once you've got the bone list retargeted, go ahead and hit retarget rest pose. Use current pose and make sure that the first frame is that T pose. Otherwise, you're going to get some really janky results like this. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really sell the whole motion capture thing. It just sells nightmare, 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 nightmare. Anyways, uh, go <laughs> now that you've got the character retargeted, hit play, take a look. Your character should be moving by this point. And if it isn't, there's a few things that we might need to fix. So go ahead and control Z a few times. Make sure that all of the bones are properly selected and all of them are properly remapped. And again, I will have presets and everything down in the description below. Now, that should fix the character. Now, if it doesn't, go ahead and go down to my Discord. Uh, again, link in the description. Now, Rococo video is free and it's impressive for what it is. Now, there are some caveats. Your character is gonna be a little bit shaky. Maybe some feet sliding all over the place. That's fine. We're gonna use something called animation layers. Now, if you don't have the add-on, it's like 20 bucks on Blender Market. It's a great buy. I personally have it and it's fantastic. Now, if you don't want to use it, you can use the NLA editor, but that's like awful and I don't know why you would ever use it. All you're going to do, add a new animation layer or uh, NLA editor, uh, add a new little stack, whatever it's called. If you want more information on doing it that way, Sam's YouTube video, his retargeting tutorial talks about using it. You can go ahead and use that if you want. Now, for the rest of this tutorial, I'm gonna be using animation layers. So you can just follow along if you've got it. If you don't, buy it or watch the other tutorial. Cleaning up the character. 
This is the fun stuff. So this is making sure that you get into the nitty gritty. You know, your character isn't gonna clip through the chest. The arm isn't gonna go through a wall randomly. And um, just generally making it look pretty good. Um, now for feet, I do have one add-on that I heavily recommend, and that is Global Space Transforms. Uh, I don't know if it's enabled by default or if it's even in the user preferences, but basically you can copy the location globally of the leg. So instead of the foot sliding over time, you can actually copy this initial keyframe whenever it lands and then paste it later down the line. So instead of it sliding over time, it locks up and then it moves more naturally. Now I just do that on all of my things just to make sure every little leg is locked up. Um, you don't even have to get that nitty gritty if you want. You can just keep it head and above. The one thing that Rococo Video doesn't do very well is dark footage. Now, if you're wearing all black like I typically do, um, you're gonna have a very difficult time getting a really good track out of this. Now, I was at Five Guys and I just recorded a video on my phone and I still got a pretty damn good track. This isn't typical. Some things that I might recommend are lighter colored shirts, lighter colored pants. If you can go outside, I know we hate doing that, but trust me, the results are worth it. I've been using a Rococo video for a few of my small little projects here and there. Um, here's one of them, here's another. Um, and it's very fun. You can get some decent results and this is the retargeting tutorial for it. One more thing before you go. Rococo has a community challenge going on right now with up to $39,000 USD in prices. It's pretty sweet. All you gotta do is make a video using Rococo video, uh, eight seconds long, 1536 by something, something or other. It's gotta be a four by three aspect ratio. Uh, maximum frames per second. I don't remember off the top of my head, but this will correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, if you make it look like a dating app kind of thing, that's what we're looking for. It's a very fun, small little challenge. And again, only eight seconds. So just hop outside, get some videos, watch this tutorial, submit. That's all you gotta do. Alrighty. Thanks again for hanging out and watching my videos. I look forward to seeing you all in the future. Bye. One final, final thing. Uh, it's kind of an update on just uh, Cinema Motions as a brand. It is gonna get very chaotic very soon. So, my animations will be a lot longer to make. Um, I started a new job, so I'm very excited for it and I'm excited for you all to see it uh, at Comic-Con, actually. Um, so yeah, my animations and like general content like this is gonna take a bit of a nosedive. So please bear with me while I'm getting my bearings straight. Anyways, this is me signing off for real.